Hello and welcome to Bible Way Church of Atlas Road. I'm Sierra Artemis and we are so glad that you chose to share your worship experience with us. If you haven't already, please be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Here are your announcements for Bible Way Church of Atlas Road. You can stream our worship services live through our website at bwcar.org or through our Facebook page at 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. on Sundays and 7 p.m. on Tuesdays. For previously recorded sermons, you can tune in on Sundays by way of radio. That's 10 a.m. on WWDM, 101.3 FM, and 7 p.m. on WFMV, located on 96.1 FM. Don't forget, you can also check us out on YouTube. At Bible Way Church of Atlas Road, remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications. The theme for July is Family, Finance, and Fitness, and we're halfway through the month with our reading challenge, entitled, Please Read to Me. All you have to do is read for 10 minutes every day, and we ask that everyone continue to participate by reading to a loved one. As a part of our focus on finance, some of you may also qualify for a special federal student loan forgiveness, which expires in October. Please take advantage of that opportunity. Visit bwcar.org for the link for that application. Our Sunday school classes are growing, and we ask that you invite your family and friends to join us on Sundays from 10 a.m. to 10.45 a.m. We'll have classes for our men in our A.C. Jackson Wellness Center, the Memorial Chapel for our women, and the Office of Youth Development for our teens, ages 13 to 19. For more information, contact Christian E.D. at bwcar.org. The men's ministry would like to thank everyone for their support, prayers, and contributions throughout Men's Month. As a reminder, the men's ministry meets every Saturday morning at 7 a.m. for prayer. All men are invited to join in on that call at 508-924-1141. All women are invited to join Redeeming the Time prayer line bright and early each Tuesday morning at 6 a.m. Dial in at 425-436-6302. That access code is 782-443. We are continuing to spotlight our family, finance, and fitness theme with a special segment focusing on fitness and wellness. Join us Tuesday, July 26th as we share healthy recipes and even get in a workout. Tune in online at bwcar.org and Facebook, bwcar1 at 7 p.m. Attention women, you're welcome to participate in our fifth Saturday fellowship. That's Saturday, July 30th. This is hosted by the Women's Ministry, and this event will feature an all-white brunch held in the Bible Way Fellowship Hall. It will be held from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. The guest speaker for this event will be Elder Sandra Hillary Cooper. You can register online at bwcar.org from now until July 24th. Contact Elder Sarah Franklin for more information. There's a new date for Family and Friends Day at Bible Way Church of Atlas Road. Invite your family and friends to join us on that new date on September 4th at 8 a.m. and again at 11 a.m. You can also join us virtually at bwcar.org or on Facebook at bwcar1. August is Children and Youth Month at Bible Way Church of Atlas Road, and our theme for this year is Drip. Please encourage your children to be a part of this momentous occasion as the month will be filled with fun events geared towards our youth. Visit bwcar.org for more information. Join us Tuesday, August 2nd for a special virtual Bible study led by youth pastor Antoine Jackson. Tune in at 7 p.m. at bwcar1 on Facebook and our website bwcar.org. Calling all educators, this is a reminder for our educators breakfast happening Sunday, August 7th in the Fellowship Hall from 9.45 a.m. to 10.45 a.m. This will be for all that have registered. If you're wanting to free yourself from debt or learn how to manage debt, join us for a special course based on Dave Ramsey's Total Money Makeover. Sessions will be led by Deacon Will Hayes via Zoom on Mondays from August 8th until October 3rd at 7 p.m. The cost is $129 for course materials and access. Contact 803-445-8323 for more information. Join us for our back-to-school service and our back-to-school giveaway. That's Tuesday, August 9th at 7 p.m. in person and online. We'll be praying over our students, our educators, administrators, school, and staff as they return to a new school year. Gift card and school supplies will be available for those that attend in person after service in the vestibule. You must bring a ticket to claim your card. Falling in love is easy and staying in love, well, that's the tricky part. All couples are invited to join us for a special service on how to stay in love. That's Wednesday, August 10th at 7 p.m., hosted by the Couples Ministry. 
The Zoom sessions will be hosted online and based on Andy Stanley's Bible series, Staying in Love. The study will include biblical scriptures and practical skills. Visit bwcar.org to register. Join us Saturday, August 13th for our Youth Job Fair and Career Expo. That's from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. in our AC Jackson Wellness Center. Teens will be able to apply for jobs and think about some future careers. There will be free gas cards and Chick-fil-A gift cards available with participation. Vendors that are interested in participating may contact ajackson at bwcar.org and kjackson at bwcar.org no later than August 5th. Join us Sunday, August 14th as we recognize our 2022 graduates during our 11 a.m. worship service. We'll also be recognizing our elementary, middle, and high school honor roll students for the 2021-2022 school year. Sign up no later than August 7th. Registration will be available both online at bwcar.org and in the vestibule. Registration for Session 3 of the Women's Virtual Thursday Night Bible Study is open from now until Wednesday, August 31st. Classes will run on Thursdays from August 4th until October 27th and will be held via Zoom. That's going to be at 6 p.m. and studies are led by Associate Pastor Willie Mae Jackson and Senior Elder Collada Porterfield. Certified teachers are needed in Calhoun and Orangeburg County School Districts. Signing bonuses, incentive bonuses, credentialing, and micro-credentialing is also available through Life2 Grant. Educators interested in more information about the Life2 Grant can visit life2sc.org. Life2 is a grant funded through the Midlands Community Development Corporation. Get ready for a new way to stay connected with our ministry. Bible Way Church of Atlas Road will be upgrading our church management system to Realm Connect. Realm, as you'll begin to hear more about, will be available to both our staff and our congregation. The new system will simplify the way we give online with an easier recurring payment option, a directory that will help everyone to stay connected with each other, as well as activities in the church to further strengthen our relationship as believers. Be on the lookout for details in the upcoming weeks. There are many safe, secure, and easy ways to give to Bible Way Church of Atlas Road. Online giving is available to both members and guests through my connections at bwcar.org. You can choose to give through your bank, checking, debit, or savings account. You can give via our mobile giving app by texting BWCAR along with your giving amount to 73256. You can mail your check to P.O. Box 90309, Columbia, South Carolina, 29290. Please do not mail cash. Financial donations will also be accepted at the church on Tuesdays from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. Hello everyone and praise the Lord. Pastor Jackson and I and the Bible Way family would like to welcome you into our services. Here at Bible Way, our vision statement is to know God, to love, and to serve. We pray, we hope, and we believe that the Word of God and the songs of praise would be a very inspirational to your spirit. We ask you to come back and join us in any of all of our services. And we want to let you know that we are praying that God will bless you and your entire family. Welcome to Bible Way. Hello and welcome to BWCAR Community Connect. I'm your host, Sierra Artemis. We're continuing with our theme of family, finance, and fitness. Today, we're gonna to be focusing on that fitness aspect. Joining me today is Lovey Watts. She is the owner of Divine Harvest. She is a plant-based health coach. Thank you so much for joining me today, Lovey. So glad to be here. So we're, we're here in the kitchen. We're gonna be making a healthy snack. Tell us what we're gonna be making. We're gonna make a simple superfood granola. Awesome. So tell me a little bit about the ingredients before we get started. Sure. The ingredients are a neutral oil, a healthy sweetener, maple syrup or honey. You can pick your favorite um, and your favorite dried fruits and nuts. So it's simple. Okay, so let's talk about what we have right here. I'm gonna just okay. move this out of the way. So what do we have here? What is, let's start with this. Okay, you're gonna start with three cups of oats, a half a cup of your neutral oil. I chose to use avocado oil, but coconut oil is also a great choice. Um, like I stated before, either maple syrup or honey. I chose maple syrup. We're gonna have a pinch of cinnamon, capful of vanilla, and just a tad bit of salt to kind of enhance the flavors. All right, so okay. let's talk about a little bit of what ingredients you have right here. All right, first we have pumpkin seeds. You gotta love pumpkin seeds. Um, they're naturally kill parasites in your body, but also a good source of minerals. And then you have your favorite nuts. I have here some almonds and also some walnuts. Do note though, I like to use raw mm. nuts um, because roasting can take out some of the nutrients. So we will be using walnuts today. 
um, dried cranberries, and some coconut chips. Awesome. Okay. All right, so what's the first step? First step, we're going to take our bowl. I'm going to have you help me here. Okay. Alrighty. If you would go ahead and put in your wet ingredients, the half a cup of oil, already measured out there for you, and your maple syrup. And while you are whisking that, I'm just going to put in about a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, okay? And then your cup full of a little bit of vanilla for taste. And this is optional. And like I said, just a little tad bit of salt. Not much. You don't need much. So while you are whisking that, what comes in next is your three cups of whole rolled oats. Don't use instant oatmeal for this. It messes up the texture okay. of the granola. Could I okay. ask you this? So instead of uh, syrup, could you use honey? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And notice it's not the pancake syrup. It's maple <laughs> syrup if you're going to use the syrup, okay? We're doing a superfood granola. So we're going to add in those oats and we're going to stir those. Make sure they're all coated. And I told you guys it was simple. It is simple. Where'd you get this recipe from? This is trial and error. When you go <laughs> online and you see all these different um, recipes, and I love granola so much, but when you buy it in the store, not only is it expensive, but it's a lot of sugar. Mm. And this way you can control it. So trial and error is how I came up with this. You did That looks great. Okay. I just want to make sure I have it completely coated. This completely coated. All right. And then from here, we're just going to put it on a baking sheet that is lined with parchment paper. And I like to do the parchment paper because I don't know about y'all. Easy cleanup, right? Right. <laughs> so while we're um, putting this on the pan, do we need to have the oven preheated to any temperature? Yes. Preheat to, uh, the oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Want a nice, slow bake. And as you can see, you're doing great. And all you do is just level it out here. I'm going to stick this there. Absolutely. Can I steal this? Oh, you know, can I steal this one? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Whatever you need to get this stuff out. And while it's in the oven, we're going to put it in the oven. It takes about 20 minutes. And halfway through, you want to, you know, stir it a little bit so it gets nice and toasted. You will smell it when it's ready. <laughs> You know what I like to do with granola? I love to put it on yogurt. It is delicious on yogurt and even also you, you're, you're making your own breakfast too. Oh, cereal with a nice plant-based milk. And that's breakfast for you as well. So you got a snack, a breakfast, and a topping. Oh, all in one. Can you tell us a little bit about your, um, your business, Divine Harvest? What, sure. What, what, um, what do you do with your business? I'm a plant-based health coach and what I do, I motivate and hold accountable um, people to be more plant dominant. Okay. Doesn't mean that you're going to stop eating meat. Nobody's anti-meat. Um, we just got to include more vegetables, more live food in our bodies. And so I'm on this mission to get the church fit. Amen. So I'm dedicated um, to ministry um, for my particular health coach business. Awesome. Yes. Okay. So That's perfect. Perfect. Okay. I just do we want any space in between? Is it supposed no, to be like a bar? No space. No, it's not a bar. So you just want it distributed evenly. And then we're gonna put that in the oven. All right. We're gonna walk over to the oven. Yes. All right, we're gonna stick that in there. So again, that's 20 minutes. Stirring halfway through. All right. Okay. So let's just move this aside. All right. And when that's done, it's going to look like that. All right. So do note when you take it out, it may be still a little wet as it cools, it dries. Okay. So don't be alarmed by that. Cause as you can see, this is, this, this is dry here. So okay? let me, let me ask you this. So mm -hmm. once we take it out of the oven, should we let it sit for a little bit? Maybe about five minutes. Okay. Yeah. About five minutes. It doesn't have to be completely cooled. Okay. Um, but just cool enough where you can work with it and not burn yourself. Awesome. Okay. Okay. All right. So really this is the simple part. You get to make it yours. Um, I like these superfood ingredients that we have here so you can just put about a cup of pumpkin seed. So, Go at it. Shake it, yeah, shake it, shake it. Shake, 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 shake. That's good right okay. there. Goji berries. I really want to, I want to try one of these. Absolutely. Like, Those are dried goji berries. Um, I'm committed. Oh, great for vitamin A. Just dump it? 
Yeah, yeah. dump it, girl. I love fruits. Those are very good for you. Like dried cherries, too. <laughs> See? Not too sweet, right? Caught, caught you off guard a little bit? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what? Honestly, it's not as sweet as I thought it would be, but it would taste real good with some chili. With some chili on it. Oh, that's another snack. Another healthy snack. Throw some chili on some goji I berries. I love it. I love it. I wish the I had a pocket. The key to it that once everything is mixed together, mm -hmm. you're gonna, it's going to be that, that bite, that texture that really comes through. Okay. Let's so, do some walnuts. Now, see, I'm fat. I like candied walnuts, but we're, we're trying to be healthy, so we're not going to candy these. We're you're not going to candy gonna these. We're not going to do candy. These are raw walnuts. This is what you want, okay? And we don't want to <laughs> roast them. You, you know what? You can, but be careful with roasted nuts. A lot of times they have extra oil, mm. and this is a superfood granola, so we're able to control that. Okay. But raw nuts keeps your nutrients intact, okay? Okay. Let's put some coconut chips and some cranberries. I think we're gonna... And if you're not a coconut lover, you don't have to add this. You don't, and that's the beauty of it. Um, if you love raisins, you can add your raisins in. Um, it smells good. The cranberries are right over there. I mean, you really, you can tailor this to your taste, but make sure you're using some of those superfood things as well. Let's put um, some almonds as well. And what we're gonna do is take my mama spoon. All righty. And we're gonna stir it on up. Oh, and you know what I really like about this? I love that you already have it in the jar. So all you gotta do is put a lid on it. So whenever you wanna just come and grab some, you can just. Exactly. And less cleanup. And it's cheaper. <laughs> Absolutely. More cost efficient. Look at those See, beautiful it's colors. Beautiful. There. I was just gonna say that. It's beautiful. And that's another tip that you know that you're make sure your plates are colorful. We should be eating a rainbow. Okay. All right. So that is done. All right, awesome. Pretty simple, right? Awesome. And make sure you store it in an airtight container and it keeps for about a month. Let me get that lid. Okay, yeah, sure. All right. Perfect, and it's done. Thank you so much, lovey. And can you give us a little, uh, how we can get in touch, stay in touch with you? Sure, feel free to go to my website at scdivineharvest.org, okay? Perfect, thank you so much for joining thank me, lovey. And thank you for this healthy snack. Awesome. Welcome back to BWCAR Community Connect. I'm your host, Sierra Artemis. We're continuing with our fitness theme here, and I'm joined by herbalist Kim Diamond. She's the owner of Chemistry Wellness. We have another healthy treat for us today. Kim, what are we going to be making? We are going to be making some wonderful smoothies that give your body life. You ask yourself when you're drinking smoothies, is it healing you? Is it killing you? It needs to heal you. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about the type of smoothie we're going to be making today. So today we're going to make smoothies that consist of blueberries, strawberries, blackberries, um, banana, turmeric powder, some call it turmeric, turmeric, ginger, um, steel oats, local honey, and sea moss with spring water. All right, awesome. So before we talk about all these other ingredients, let's talk a little bit about this sea moss. So this isn't a regular sea moss. What is in this sea moss? This is a fruit infused sea moss. Um, sea moss can be a little bit uh, difficult to the taste. So a lot of people order sea moss from me to give it to their children with the fruit based sea moss. It's called fruit infused sea moss. And that way it tastes like you're eating like maybe like fruit jello, but it's really sea moss and it gives you amazing benefits, amazing benefits. Let's it's, talk about those. Let's talk about those benefits of sea moss. So the potential benefits of sea moss is great for um, sinus issues. If you have sinus issues, it's great for joint pain. It's great for high blood pressure, um, cholesterol. It's good for cold and flu-like symptoms. It's good for a lot of COVID patients that have had COVID, they take it because it breaks up your mucus. Sea moss is one of the most powerful things you can get on this earth. It's a seaweed from Jamaica. Okay, and you can just take, you can just take the sea moss by itself. Listen, I get up in the morning, I dip my spoon in the sea moss, I take one or two teaspoons. If you are new to sea moss, you might want to just do one teaspoon to try it out first. A lot of people will put it in smoothies, they'll put it on top of their salads, they'll put it in hot tea, hot coffee, and just stir it up, and it's wonderful. It gives you lots of energy. Okay, well let's dive right into making this smoothie. So we know the general benefits of sea moss, so of course it's going to contribute to the whole healthy aspect of the nutritious uh, smoothie we're going to be making today. So how do we get started with our smoothie? So the first thing you want to do with the smoothie, a lot of people like fresh um, vegetables and fresh fruit. 
One thing I will tell you is we don't have it today, but if you want, if you want to do a smoothie with vegetables, you want to always make sure that your smoothie has about 70% vegetables. Why? Because fruit is loaded with sugar. Right. So we're not making smoothies because they're cute. We're making them for our health benefits. But today we're going to do a smoothie that the first one we'll do will be a simple smoothie. Okay. This will be one for starters. If you just for me. want to learn how to do, yeah, for Ciara. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to learn how to do a smoothie, that just wakes you up in the morning, gives you fuel like a car needs gas, this will be the smoothie for you. So first, let me say this, I have a Nutribullet. Nutribullet is something that's cute for beginners. Um, with my business, I have a bigger commercial blender, but I bought this today. So, so any blender is good for this, guys. Don't yeah. be intimidated by this. Yeah. These, That's exactly what yeah, I'm Any blender is going to be good. So let me ask you a little bit about the fruit. Now, I know you said we can use fresh fruit or we can use frozen fruit, but if we were to buy fresh fruit, would we need to freeze it first in order for it to have that smoothie-like consistency? Okay. So a lot of times, because fresh fruit, it, it goes bad really quick, a lot of times I will buy fresh fruit, wash it off, and freeze it. Okay. Um, a lot of times with my bananas, because they go bad really quickly, once they get this color, I peel it, slice it off, and freeze it. Slice them up and freeze it. Um, a lot of people prefer fresh fruit just because of the texture that right. it gives a smoothie. Right. Um, it depends on what I'm making. I always do fresh, but today I did frozen okay. because it's hot, and I know I had to drive here to do it, so I just wanted to make sure that it would be you know, ready for me. Okay. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get started. All right. So the first thing you want to do, you want to put in your fruit. And when you're putting your fruit in, um, it's one of those things that you kind of just have to guess because a lot of times if you put too much fruit in and not enough liquid, you'll notice that when you're blending your smoothie, it kind of gets thick. Right. And so when you run into that problem, guess what? All you do is add more liquid. And so the liquid I'll be using today will be spring water. Um, a lot of times when you're doing smoothies, fruit can be loaded with sugar. So it makes no sense to put orange juice as a liquid, fruit punch as a liquid. Or dairy. Um, you're eating to live. Right. Ask yourself, is it healing you or killing you? So you do spring water. The benefits of spring water, a lot of minerals, is, is close to being alkaline water. And it's also, it also has healing properties. So get away from the habit of doing orange juice. Uh, dairy. You know, yeah, people put yogurt. Yeah. If you do almond milk, do vanilla free, uh, vanilla sugar free, but just water okay because you're going to get enough enough um you get enough sweetness from everything else so we got the fruit and the water okay then i like to have a little fun with it we're going to put steel oats okay this is going to fill you up steel oats and this is the for the basic one well basic for me okay oh, okay Okay. But we will do, we will do, this is basic for me. Okay, okay, that's fine. So, so we'll just, we'll just call this the basic one. Okay, so one with just the oats will be right. the basic, okay. Right. Okay, so with that being said, once you do that, you want to put your banana in. So you want to use one banana, just one, banana. one whole banana. One okay. whole banana. We can be fancy and cut it, or you can just toss the whole little banana in there. Well, <laughs> I do this. Break it up. Yeah. Break, break it up. up. Don't waste the dishes. Just break it up and break just throw it, it in. You're making it for you. Break it up. Yep. Could you add ice if you want to? Just you can if you add ice. Thicker. You can add ice if you want to. Okay, so now you have your fruit, you have your banana, and you have your spring water. Now, remember, South Carolina can get a little difficult with people having allergies to pollen. Mm -hmm. And so if you want to add a little sweetness to it, not sugar, add local honey. And the reason why I say add local honey is because the local, local honey is from the bees in the area. Right. And guess what? Once your body gets immune to the honey, you won't have issues with sinus issues, pollen issues, your eyes won't be itching, you won't be stuffy going outside once you get your body immune to using local honey. So we're gonna put a teaspoon of local honey in the smoothie. Okay. This is simple for me. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just here to learn. <laughs> Now, while we're doing this, can you tell, um, let's tell our church members a little bit about chemistry and the services that you offer through okay. chemistry wellness. So 
So Chemistry Wellness is a holistic brand. It focuses on the woman as a whole, girls, little girls, teenagers, women. Um, we like men too, but we focus on the internal woman as a whole. Um, I do uh, health uh, expos on just various topics like high blood pressure, um, high cholesterol, feminine issues. I do workshops on that. Um, I'm a natural hairstylist. I also do empowerment workshops on knowing your worth. So chemistry is designed to get the woman, the, as the woman in general, whole again, spiritually, mentally, and physically. Awesome. All right. Well, let's get finished with um, this process. All right. So let me show you. There is a line. If you go past the line sometimes, Max, yeah. Max, mm -hmm. you will have a problem. Mm. It will start overflowing. So I don't go past the line. So what we're going to do right now is see if this is going to be enough. Okay. We let the, the ancestors help us to measure the amount. Okay. So you got your fruit, your oats, banana, local honey, and spring water. So this one we don't add the sea moss to? No. Okay. This is a simple one. Simple, simple. <laughs> I got you. And I like the sound of this. You ready? All right. At this point, I use a stock to check it to mm -hmm. see how it looks. Because I don't want my smoothie too runny, but I don't want it too thick. Right. So I see that I need to do a little bit more blending. You want to make sure the top is tight. Have life in a blender. Yay! Now, could you add any sweeteners to this? Um, you can if you didn't want to do honey. Mm -hmm. You could add um, agave nectar. You can add cinnamon. I just know for a fact that sugar is right. the root to all evil. Right. Um, disease feeds off of sugar. And anytime your body is fighting with a disease like cancer, diabetes, high cholesterol, you want to feed your body life. So sugar is you want to stay away from sugar. All right. Um, I always tell my clients, make sure that even if you don't have the disease, eat like you have every disease on earth so you won't get it. Be proactive. I eat for high blood pressure, diabetes, cancer. I eat like I have it, and that's why I feel like a million dollars. Okay. Great All advice. Right. All right. We got a little messy, but hey, this is real life. So we are going to pour the smoothie in a cup. You want to taste it? Yeah. All right, and we have our lime green straws. Yes. Mm, I know. Special <laughs> color for me. All right. And I'm going to taste it with you. Hey, let's split this one just so because okay. I know we have another smoothie we're going to try. So we're just okay. going to split this one. All right, perfect. And we have straws. And I'll just grab my straw. All right, and let's try it. It's good. Mm. Mm, music to my soul. Really good. I yes. really like this one. Now, if say you wanted to make it a little bit sweeter, could you add more honey or do we want to be careful with the amount of honey that we add? Um, if you are diabetic, if you're pre-diabetic, you want to watch out for the honey. Um, I would say to you, no. Mm -hmm. I do, when I do my smoothies for my clients, I do two teaspoons of honey. If they tell me they have underlying issues with blood sugar issues, I do one teaspoon. Okay. There are other ways to do sweeteners, like I said, cinnamon, agave nectar. But the most important thing is once you get your consistency right with the fruit, you should be okay with not adding sugar. Okay. And also, if we added the almond milk, vanilla, sugar-free, even though it's sugar-free, it still gives it a pop of, of flavor to the water, to the smoothie. Okay. Now, one more question about uh, the smoothie. So, could you use this as a meal supplement? Say you're in a rush in the morning and you didn't have time to grab breakfast or anything. Could this supplement as your breakfast? Absolutely. You could use this as a meal supplement. Um, if you want to get a little, a little more experience with it, once you start making smoothies, you can add more things in it, like protein powders. Um, you could add more oatmeal in it. You can do whatever you need to do to fulfill you. You will know once you start drinking smoothies, okay, this is going to last for two hours, three hours. You say, okay, well, let me put more of this in it. I typically put more things in mine, but this was a simple one. Right, because I'm simple. Simple. We, 
<laughs> basic. I'm not gonna say basic, but I'm definitely simple. So when we add more things to it, then it's not simple and you feel better. But I will say this, if you're eating to live, don't think that just because you got a smoothie, you need a bacon and cheese sandwich or grits or turkey bacon. You can do a smoothie, pick up some unsalted almonds, unsalted nuts, whatever your choice would be. Maybe make you um, a spinach salad on the side. You can have spinach for breakfast. Okay. You don't have to always have grits. The same. Yeah. Right. You, can, you can eat to live for breakfast because okay. that's going to fuel your body for the day. Okay. Awesome. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Yes. All right. So we only have a little bit of uh, time left. So let's jump into this smooth, the sea moss okay. smoothie. So I'll go ahead and remove the top of this one. So we'll basically just do what we did with that one and what will be the difference. So we're going to add, the only difference is... I'm going to do this one. Yeah. So you, you walk me through okay. this one. What we do first? So first we got to pray. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Jesus, for the smoothie. Okay, we're going to put the fruit in. Then you are going to put just a little bit of ginger, because ginger is overpowering. Ginger? Ginger. Okay, so when we, you just, just this is ginger that you just have straight mm -hmm. out the little stalk. So what I did was I got some raw ginger, I peeled it, washed it off. The benefits of ginger, sad benefits, potential benefits of ginger, joint pain, cholesterol issues, great for high blood pressure. That's why I'm a little release with my nostrils today because okay. I did ginger and garlic last night as a detox. But ginger is really good in this season with everything we have going on to keep your body kind of open. Okay. Like a natural antibiotic as well. Natural antibiotic. Okay. And okay. a little bit. This you can is put a little bit more ginger. Look. Just a little bit more. It's going to be a little, it's going to have a little kick to it. And then we have turmeric or if you call it turmeric. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a spoon for this. I mean, and you, you said be very generous with this. Yes, because it will overpower Not you. generous, but be cautious just a little bit more and so <laughs> i'm gonna you know what let's do a little bit for now and then afterwards we can add some more okay okay so the benefits of turmeric um said to be great for cancer joint pain high cholesterol um a lot of these things are interchangeable and they work the same but it just depends on right. your preference okay okay and then we do local honey or honey. okay local lo honey and you said just a teaspoon of that it's a teaspoon That was a generous teaspoon. Just because I was afraid some was gonna be stuck on the spoon. All right. And then we have your sea moss. All right. I yeah. really want you to taste it first. It's, deli it's delicious. But I'll taste it after okay. I stick some okay. in there. Okay. okay, so I'm gonna just stir, stir it a little it up, bit. Yes. This is the fruit and fruit sea moss gel. What you fruit can, do you have? I have one? blackberries, blueberries, strawberries, and raspberries. Okay, so and it kind of fits local with the honey. Thing. Okay. It's a teaspoon of it. I'm just do a little, okay, just a little that's splash, splash, a little splash, just some more. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna sit and that there. And then your banana. Oh, we got our banana, and we're gonna do the whole banana. The whole banana. And we're gonna put this banana in there, Kim style. We're gonna break it off break and put it, it in. Break it off, put it in. Break it off and put it in. All righty. All right. And, and then you have your spring water. Oh, our spring water. Listen, it was about to be uh, <laughs> pudding. <laughs> All right. I'll just pour the rest of this in there. Now me, I actually like a thicker smoothie. So okay. could if the less water you put in, the less the thicker it will be, right? Yeah. So let's be safe. I see Kim's face. So we're gonna add a little yeah. bit more. Yeah, <laughs> She's like, add a little, add bit a little more water. You need a little bit more for that. All right. I think that's good. And then if you because this is a wider, a wider. If you ever bigger. want it thicker, you can just play around with like fruit. Add a little bit more fruit to it. A little bit more extra like ginger. All right, guys. We're getting ready to blend again. This is a fancy blender. This is very fancy. Shout out to Trina. All right, there we go. All right, you're getting ready. Let's check this. Okay. Oh, and I blended a little bit more. I think we might need to. What you? We didn't. Uh, maybe get the bag of fruit. We used all the fruit. Okay. All right. Let's see. So I think that might be a little too much water. We could add more ginger. We could also, um, could we add ice to this? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Well, this one comes like a little pitcher, so this is nice. So we'll go ahead and try this one. I'm excited to try yours. 
All right, let's see. Now this one doesn't have oats. No, no oats. Let's just take that top off. All right, we're gonna make just a little bit. Just so we could try it. All righty. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh, it's good. I can taste the ginger. Now I would like more ginger, but we're we, but you're beginning. But what? it's delicious. You did awesome. This is good. It's this, delicious. I like that I can still taste the ginger, but it's not completely overpowering the drink. Mm -hmm. So this this might be beginner level for me. So I might be able to do two little two little cubes of ginger. So this is good. All right. Well, thank you so much, Kim, for all of this um, information welcome. and the, the I mean the great benefits of this smoothie and of course helping me help me to make this smoothie of my own. Um, but again, could you tell our church members how we can get in touch with you if they want to get in touch with you? So I am at chemistrywellness.com, what the shirt says, chemistrywellness.com. And um, I just want you to remember, you can find me on Facebook, Kimberly Diamond, Chemistry Wellness. But I want everyone to remember, Sierra, that give yourself grace. When you're trying to be healthier, give yourself grace. It's okay to have a burger and fries sometimes, but give yourself grace and take baby steps. And before you know it, you'll notice your energy is better. You get better reports from the doctor. So just give yourself grace. Right. So eat to live and not live to eat. Is it every time you eat, every right. time you drink, ask yourself, is it healing you? Is it killing you? Awesome. I want to live. Awesome. Thank you so much, Kim. You're welcome. There are many safe, secure, and easy ways to give to Bible Way Church of Atlas Road. Online giving is available to both members and guests through my connections at bwcar.org. You can choose to give through your bank, checking, debit, or savings account. You can give via our mobile giving app by texting BWCAR along with your giving amount to 73256. You can mail your check to P.O. Box 90309, Columbia, South Carolina, 29290. Please do not mail cash. Financial donations will also be accepted at the church on Tuesdays from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. Welcome back to BWCAR Community Connect. I'm your host, Sierra Artemis, and we're continuing with our theme of finance, family, and fitness. I'm here with Tyshawn Jones. He's a fitness trainer here at our AC Jackson Wellness Center. He's going to show us a few workouts as we wrap up our fitness segments for the month. So hi. So thank you for joining me, first of all. It's a pleasure to be here. All right, today we'll be working on four beginner level exercises. Uh, we'll be using some basic level equipment. The first will be an elastic band. Then we have an aerobic step, and we also have our kettlebells here. All right, so our first exercise, we have two that will be upper body, and the last two will be lower body. All right. All right. So we're gonna stand with our feet shoulder width apart, same with our arms, and we're working our shoulders and our, del our rear delts uh, to promote good posture, so we're standing nice and straight. All right, so we're extending all the way out, controlling our breathing where we're releasing our breath when we uh, release. All right, and we'll do 10 reps here. Are you ready? All right. Let's go. One of the principles, well, two principles that we like to uh, emphasize here at the Wellness Center is all of our reps are slow and with control and lastly, we like to squeeze our core to always keep it engaged. Okay. All right, great. Once we hit 10 of those, we're gonna work our, our biceps. All right, so we're gonna still use the elastic band. We're stepping on it here. Does both it matter? In. Does it matter how my feet are? Yes, yes, we want both feet in. Like, should they be close together or shoulder width? How uh, I... The further you out, the more resistance uh, okay. you have. Okay. All right, and we're doing 10 nice and slow. Where, how far up should we bring our arms while we're doing this? Uh, we want to bring them as close to our shoulders as we can get them. Okay. Now, your, I'm not saying, maybe it's because you're stronger than me, but I see your band is coming up farther than mine. Does the type of band like determine the type of resistance? Like, is my band maybe firmer? Yes, they do have. Uh, Levels bands of with uh, levels of resistance and intensity. Mm -hmm. They have a variety of those options uh, in stores like Walmart, Dick's Sporting Goods, where you can choose the level of intensity and resistance on your bands. Okay. 
Now, is this something that we can also do sitting down, maybe in a chair? Yes, you can. And uh, that's perfect. The last two exercises that we're doing will be lower body exercises. And we have moderations for those uh, with older people that would like to do the workouts as well. So Sierra will be showing you the moderated versions and I'll be showing you the loaded versions with the kettlebell. And I'll just sit back. All right, perfect. All right, so our next exercise is gonna be squats. We're working on our lower body. All right. Sierra will be using assisted uh, moderations with the chair. Okay, so you, you can use yours without the kettlebell. Okay. And for those that are stronger in their legs, all right, we can use the kettlebell for more loaded uh, weight. All right, so we're working on 10 reps, nice and slow. All right, if you're standing, you want your feet shoulder width apart. All right, getting as deep down into a squat as you can for better range of motion. And if you're seated for the moderated, you're just looking to stand and go down into a squat, sitting in the chair. As you, once you touch, you're right back up. And we're looking to do 10 reps. So, so immediately, as soon as I sit down, I stand right back up? Yes. Do I need to maybe be slow about it or? Sure, and you can also use uh, uh, something to hold on to for assistance. And as you gain strength in your legs, you can go from unassisted and then to load it with a kettlebell. Sounds okay. good? All right. All right, so we have 10. Ready? Ready. Let's go. Um, for the assisted one um, with the chair, how should my hands be? Should I like cross them or? I love to have them in a praying motion because I'll keep them off of our knees okay. as best we can. Okay. Great job. I lost count. <laughs> we have two more here. We have two more. All right. Yep. Okay, that's perfect. All right, our next exercise is called heel touches. This is good for promoting good knee health and helps to promote good balance as well. All right. So with our heel touches, we start on our aerobic step, both feet up, and we're gonna drop our left foot down and just touch the floor with our heel. Okay. And bring it back up, we have 10 reps. All right. So it's gonna look like this. This exercise is good because it doesn't put a lot of pressure on your knees, but it definitely helps to strengthen them. Are you ready? Yep, I'm ready. Let's go. And I'm doing mine just a little bit slower just to make sure that I'm able to keep my balance. That's perfect. Okay. And what should our hands be doing, praying as well? Yep. Two more here and then we're gonna rotate. And that left leg should be like extended and straight? Yes, we are keeping our left leg straight. Okay, or the, the dominant leg, the straight. Okay, I just was checking your technique. So are we tapping it back? When we come back, we're tapping our foot down, placing it down? Yeah, we're just touching our, our step here. Okay, we're just barely tapping touching? the floor with okay. our heel. All right. Good, we have two more. Perfect. All righty. Well, awesome. So we, we learned four workouts, uh, well, four little trick system workouts. We did two upper body, two lower body. Of course, um, thank you so much, Tyshawn, for showing us these uh, workouts, including the moderated versions, um, for those that might have difficulty um, you know, doing workouts without assistance. Um, we'll have all this information on our YouTube and Facebook pages. If you missed the workout, I'm a little out of breath. I'm trying to catch my breath. So this is a great workout. Tashan, thank you so much for this information and for showing us these workouts. What are the hours of the Wellness Center? Our hours of operation here are 8 a.m. to 12 p.m., Monday through Thursday. Perfect. And if you'd like to schedule an appointment to work out with Tashan or if you'd like to come by the Wellness Center to work out, we'll have all the information on the bottom of the screen. We'd like to thank you for joining us online and in person. If you desire prayer, please call 
776-1238. There are many safe, secure, and easy ways to give to Bible Way Church of Atlas Road. Online giving is available to both members and guests through my connections at bwcar.org. You can choose to give through your bank, checking, debit, or savings account. You can give via our mobile giving app by texting BWCAR along with your giving amount to 73256. You can mail your check to P.O. Box 90309, Columbia, South Carolina, 29290. Please do not mail cash. Financial donations will also be accepted at the church on Tuesdays from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. If you feel as if this service was a blessing to you, or if you are moved by the message in any way, please be sure to share it with your family and friends. For additional announcements and for more information, be sure to visit our website. That's bwcar.org.